everyone today i will teach you how to access the conservation status of your species based from the iucn red list category using r this tutorial is for biologists doing animal and plant studies for biologists i think this is one of the the time consuming tasks when you are on the stage of report writing because what we do we search for our species in the IUCN uh, redlist.org website. For example, Nara, Terocarpus indicus. And we have here decreasing, decreasing population and a category EN or endangered. Now, this will be easy if you only have few species. But if you have more than 50 or more than 100 species, then it will be time-consuming to search each species one by one. Let's go back to R. You can actually let R do the job for you and get the conservation status of all your species in a minute or a few minutes. So let's start doing this. We need to first set our directory. Our data is in my desktop, tutorial. So I have it here, the tutorial uh, XLSX uh, data and then I have it here tutorial and then plot subplot vegetation type scientific name and DBH so what we are interested in is to search for the IUCN category for of this species so let's import our data then we we need three packages here the tax size which we will be needing for the IUCN status and also for the distribution of the species. And then tidyverse and uh, read XL packages is to wrangle and read the data into R. So let's read these three together. And then let's import our data from our desktop tutorial file and then the tutorial XLSX data. And then it's already here. So let's set the data as uh, the tutorial data as data and check it. So we have six columns, the same as our the same as our Excel file, and it has 166 rows and five columns. So we are only interested here in the scientific name. So I will be uh, I will be extracting this data for now. So we have data, so this one, our data, and then then get the distinct uh, scientific name. So this distinct function is under the package uh, tidyverse. So if we run this and get the species list, so we have 52 unique species. Uh, before running the IUCN category, we need an API access or the IUCN access. So for that, you need to apply here in the API v3 iucnredlist.org and then go here, token, then you apply here. So for mine, I, I think it took me one day before I get the my API key. So, so you will have your own API access for each individual. So here I can run this function now the IUCN uh, underscore summary is under the tax size package so the species list here this is this one and this is the scientific name the the species we are interested so here are the list of species and then I want the distribution detail is true and then your key API so your own API access so if I run this if I run this code so now it retrieves uh, the IUCN category of each species. So it will will retrieve the data one by one for each taxa. So you might be seeing found zero, not found. So it means it or listed in the IUCN. If it's not found is one, then it's not listed in the IUCN red list, red list yet. So you have to wait for a moment before it reads all the data. So this is you can you can search for the IUCN category and drink your coffee while waiting R to to search for this 
list. So I think it's almost done. Done searching. So you just need to wait for this red button to disappear. Okay, let's wait. So it's still reading. I can have my coffee while waiting for this. Okay, we're done. Uh, don't worry for this warning. This is this is not an error in reading your data. So if we want to check the list, so we name it IUC and list. Then now it gives you a list of for each species. So it gives you the distribution. And if we want to to search for more details here, we will be using the function IUCN underscore status and then get IUCN inside this parenthesis. So now I have all these, some species have LC, some species don't have IUCN category. So to make it more easier to read, I will set my data as data frame. So if I run this, then I have a list of my, my species. So I have the, the species here and the category here. So further, for, further checking. So I want to put the row names, uh, row names to column maybe. And then we set the variable as species. And then let's set names for, for, for the columns as species and I, the IUCN name. So maybe it's important to, to get the head of your data so for you to, you don't have a long list. Error set plot. Okay, we have an error here. Okay. Set names should be set names. So here I now have a list. I have species and the IUCN category. So for all my 52 species, I already have, so I already have the list of, of IUCN category under each of the species. So we can check it for Terocarpus indicus. Yes, this is true as we see it here, EN. Um, for example, we go this Mangifera indica, our manga. Search. And then DD, the or data deficient. So it's so the data is here. So you you already have our IUCN status in your list. So one more thing, we can have um, another another query is if you have your IUCN list, then for my dollar sign, and then for example my Tercarpus indicus. So it gives you information of this so history, this or the assessment history, the current status now, and then the distribution. So let's maybe check for distribution. So now it's possibly ex extinct in, in Sri Lanka and Vietnam, and these are the native populations. So that's how you quickly uh, get IUC and red list of your species. So that's for today. Thank you.